to fix your grip, Miss Jones. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Rigsby. I don't know what I'd do without you. Uh, that's all right, Miss Jones. That's what I'm here for. Any little thing, as you know. I'm afraid I'm not very practical. Well, you're more the artistic type, aren't you, Miss Jones? You like beautiful things. Let me look at your cups. Willow pattern. Lovely theme. Yes, it separates you from the rest, Miss Jones. Oh. And your table mats. Yes. Scenes from the ballet. And how many people around here eat off scenes from the ballet? <laughs> yes, you're lucky if you get a beer, Matt. <laughs> well, you've got that indefinable something called good taste, Miss Jan. Do you think so, Mr. Edward? Oh, yes, you make a difference to this place. Uh, shades on the bulbs, blue water in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> you really raised the standard. Well, I hope so. Yeah. I mean, I hope the others don't think I'm too fussy. I want them to accept me. Well, they'll accept you all right. That's what worries me. <laughs> yes. Yes, well, there. That's fixed, Miss Jones. Right. Oh, anything else while I'm here? Well, yes, Mr. Rigsby. Oh. I wonder if you'd have a look at my doorknob. Oh. <laughs> Again? Well, I didn't look at it only last week. What's, what's the matter with it now? Well, people seem to be walking off with it. <laughs> oh, well, no wonder. Look at that. No, it's been vandalised. <laughs> yeah, what you can expect with that lot upstairs? Uh, just a few twists with my little... Uh, there we are. Let's fix that. Good. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Rigsby. Ah. Uh, I was uh, just thinking, Miss Jones, uh, uh, Spooner gave me a couple of tickets for the wrestling for tomorrow night. I wonder if you care to come. <laughs> me? Oh, I don't know. Oh, Mr. Uh, it's all right. It's not too near the front. Yes. Well, you don't want a 15 stone wrestler in your lap, do you? <laughs> Does that happen? Uh, oh, yes, yes, it can, yes. And Spooner has got this nasty habit of spitting his drinking water over the car. <laughs> all in the heat of battle, of course. Well, it's very nice of you to ask me, Mr. Rigsby, but I really don't. Oh, you'll enjoy it, Miss Jones. It's a grudge fight. Spooner versus the Russian. Yeah, he's ended with a broken leg last time. Oh, how awful. Yeah. Mr. Spooner or the Russian? Uh, no, no, no. Somebody in the third row. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, uh, you see, the, uh, the, the, the Russian... Uh, oh, sorry. The, uh, the Russian comes on in ballet tights, you see, and pelts Spooner with flowers. Uh, this infuriates Spooner. He belts the Russian with his stool. Oh, but surely the referee wouldn't allow that. No, oh, no, this is before the shake hands. <laughs> <laughs> of course, everyone starts booing Spooner while the, while the Russian gives blowing him kisses. Poor Mr. Spooner. No, 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 you don't understand. There's a booze to boo him. He's the villain. Doesn't he have any supporters? Uh, not many. No, you see, they're the ones he spits at. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what, what do you say, Mr. Jones? I think we could uh, have a spot of supper afterwards. <laughs> uh, well, I've just remembered, Mr. Riggs. I'm afraid I've got to work late tomorrow night. Oh. I hope you don't mind. Oh, of course not, Miss Jones. I quite understand. It was very nice of you to ask me. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. It was just, just a thought. You know. I mean, you can always get rid of the tickets. No, no bother there. I'm sure it's all fixed, isn't it? <laughs> but... <laughs> Big, is it? Well, it doesn't need to be. Catch it in anything, it'll tear your ear off. <laughs> Do you like it? Yes. Has Rigsby seen it? Uh, no, I, I, uh, I keep covering it up with my hand. <laughs> well, you know what he's like. He thinks a signet ring's flashy. There's <laughs> uh, one coffee. I need something. What's the matter? Oh, I've just said goodnight to the most beautiful girl I've ever met. I left her with tears in her eyes. What happened? Nothing. That's the trouble. <laughs> I bring her back here, but how could I with Rigsby prowling around? Mm. Couldn't you, uh, couldn't you go back to her place? No, she's in college. It's driving me mad. I've got a big scene going there. Again? What do you mean, again? This is different. I'd go through fire and flood for this girl. What about the park? And get covered in moss and dead leaves. <laughs> Thought you'd like the park. Just you and her under the stars. Just like the jungle. Would you stop talking about me as if I were the last of the Mohicans? <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, the park's strictly for the ducks. Now, what's the matter with Rigsby, anyway? Well, Ruth keeps turning him down. It's making him bitter. I was down there at the moment asking her to go to the wrestling with him. She won't go, of course. She thinks the main bout will be her versus Rigsby. I think I'll tell him straight out. I'm bringing a girl back here. No, you do that and you find your cases in the hall. Besides, Ruth would have the vapours if you brought a girl back here. <laughs> tell you what, what we ought to do is to get them two together. And how do we do that? We give Rigsby some advice. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of advice could you give him? I have to make it with Ruth. But you've never made it with anyone. <laughs> yes, I have. Alan, I've never seen you with a girl. 
But what about that girl who keeps following me? <laughs> what girl? The one on the racing bike. Oh, you can't count her. <laughs> she never dismount. Ah, she will, though. She will. You wait and see. Besides, just because you've never seen me with a girl, don't mean to say I've never had one. As a matter of fact, I'm getting over rather a big scene at the moment. Oh, I didn't know. I don't like to talk about it much. It was pretty steamy while it lasted. <laughs> well, go on. They say I was the reason she failed her O-levels. <laughs> you mean she was still at school? And you're going to advise Ridgeby? Look out. <laughs> Don't you think you need something? Like a body transplant. <laughs> hey, do you want some, do you want some coffee, Ridgeby? <laughs> Oh, my guts are in a turmoil today. Have you taken anything for it? Deep breathing. I find I see everything which helps. Deep breathing every morning. You want to see a doctor? No, no, you start worrying about your health. You've had it. <coughs> uh, he had a blood out there downstairs. Thought his shoulder blades were deformed. <laughs> uh, kept asking me to look at them. He spent hours trying to see them in the mirror. Uh, by the time he'd finished, they were deformed. <laughs> oh, that's better. Uh, uh, Rigsby, there's something I wanted to ask you. Oh, my God, what's that? What? There, there, on your ear, quick, something glinting. What is it? It's an earring. A nip? Oh. Stop the world, I want to get off. Oh. What's wrong with it? He looks like the gypsy's warning. But everybody's wearing them these days, Rizby. Really. God help England, that's all I can say. Oh, I guess the Russians don't find out. I can just see us all marching into battle in bloody earrings. That'll really send us through the field with the enemy. Philip thinks it's all right. Oh, he would. He thinks a bone through the nose is all right. <laughs> Rizby, I wanted to ask you... Here, if I... here's some... Tickets for the wrestling. Ask me what. It doesn't matter. She turned you down then, Riggs. Mind your own business. <laughs> I, I, I can't understand it. I've tried everything with that woman. <laughs> you want some advice, Rigsby? From you? Who do you think you are? Bachelor of the Month? <laughs> need your advice, mate. Hey, Rigsby, you ought to get with it. You ought to change your image. Perhaps I should borrow your earring. <laughs> What I mean. You mean medallions, don't you? Shirt open, drinking Campari while some bird in the night is helping you off with your boots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the life's not like that. No, she's too busy with good causes to worry about me. That's the yeah, she, you know, too, too, too busy worrying about his mates in Africa to worry about me. That's the trouble, you see. I'm not a good cause. Oh, I don't know. What about help the aged? <laughs> <laughs> you know what you need? Oh. Charisma. I'm not spraying myself with that stuff, mate. No, oh, charisma. It means personal charm. Oh, yeah. I've not noticed much charisma around here. <laughs> Look, Ruth doesn't want to go to the wrestling, does she? Huh? Do you know what she'd really like? What? A nice, quiet evening at home listening to Matt Munro. Who? <laughs> Matt Munro. But I've got one of his records here. <laughs> hey, why don't you take it down, give it a quick twirl, get her in a nice romantic mood, and give her a gentle squeeze? Matt Munro. Never fails. Oh, I don't know. She's a very sensitive woman. My stomach being what it is, it rolls whenever I get near her. Must put her off. <laughs> hey, I've got just a thing. Well, they are. Take a couple of these. What? They'll uh, calm you down and tone you up at the same hey, time. Hey, you haven't got any hormones in him, have they? <laughs> You know, he's that bloke down the road, the one who got the cheap turkey at Christmas, that was full of hormones. 